Gift entry in the Nonprofit Success Pack allows users to enter batch and single gifts in a flexible, fast, and accurate way. Let's take a look at how to configure gift entry for our users. Gift entry must be enabled before we can configure it. To do this, we access the NPSP Settings tab from the AMP Launcher. In the Systems Tools section, we find Advanced Mapping for Data Import and Gift Entry and click the toggle to enable Advanced Mapping. Once the page reloads, we can similarly enable Gift Entry. If needed, we can also customize batch numbers here. Optionally, if we want our users to be able to review and update contact addresses right from the Gift Entry interface, there are several more changes needed to Advanced Mapping. Those are described in detail in NPSP documentation. Now we want our users to be able to access gift entry directly from account and contact records so they can enter single gifts. Therefore, we need to add special quick actions to our page layouts. Let's go to Setup, Object Manager, Accounts, and select a page layout. Here we can drag the new gift action from the Mobile and Lightning Actions onto our Lightning Actions menu. We repeat these steps on any other account or contact page layout where users need access to gift entry. It's also a good time to remove any donation quick actions that we don't want them to use moving forward. Finally, we give our data entry team access to gift entry by assigning the relevant users to the gift entry recommended permission set. Both documentation and trailhead can help us with permission sets if we need it. Now that gift entry is enabled and our users have access, it's time to set up the templates that will guide their data entry. We'll cover that in another video. Check out NPSP documentation for more details and best practices. Thanks for watching.